Good morning, everyone. This is Narada Rishi Raja with Sacred Vibes Holistic Center. And today I have your wonderful advice from the Gita. So let's see what Krishna has for us today. We've got uh, protection. That guy right there that you're looking at, that is a form of Vishnu. That is uh, one of the avatars known as Nara Simha. He came back as half lion, half man to save one of his devotees, which is sitting on his lap right there. Uh, this is chapter 9, verse 22. For those who worship me with devotion, meditating on my transcendental form, I carry what they lack and preserve what they have, both, material, both materially and spiritually. That's the trick right there. Reason why in the Bhagavad Gita, it states all the time that the bhakti is closest to Krishna. It doesn't mean that Krishna plays favorites. No, it just means the bhakti has it figured out. The bhakti, meaning someone that lives in total devotion, absolute faith. It's not, a bhakti isn't a believer. See, a lot of times that's what we have from a lot of faiths. We have, you know, followers of a religion. Bhakti isn't a follower of a religion at all. Truly, a true bhakti. No, they're a devotee to God's source. Through and through. Over all religion, over all social custom, over all familial custom. You know, family traditions, things like that. No, it is all about God's source for a bhakti. Right? But when you get there, you've transcended the world. So that's where the means and the ways become the same. That's why it's the easiest. You can do a whole bunch of austerities and all kinds of things to get to bhakti, or you can start a bhakti. Now, some people are like, well, I can't start a bhakti. Well, it's time for austerities then. Time to prepare the system. But once you get there, this protection that it's talking about, I, I can attest to it. Through and through, it is the greatest feeling you will ever have. Everything becomes perfect. Even all the messed up stuff as it throws at you, it becomes perfect, all of it. All of the weight and burdens get lifted a whole lot more. And not to say that they go away. No, you just change how you perceive them. That's the key. The kingdom of heaven is within, as Yeshua said. It is. Bhakti is how you get there. When we have that absolute devotion and we spend the time and the dedication meditating to go inward, we're able to clear this system. We're able to get through the restrictions. We're able to break through the amygdala block that we have that throws us into fear-based programs. And we're able to rise above all of that. We're able to rise above the world. There's material, there's spiritual. And that's because we're in this world of duality right now. Right now. Your experience is in duality right now. So there's material and spiritual. As you can back that into bird's eye view up and up and up, what we find is you're everything. So spiritual and material are the same thing. But this is very complex. This is why so many people get, get confused. And this is why so many people think there's so many different ways to believe or there's different truths. There's not different truths. There's different stories to try and explain the truth. And there's different levels of understanding of this truth, but there's only one truth. That's the perennial way, the perennial philosophy that keeps popping up culture after culture because the truth can't die. If you wanna know the science of this, it's in yoga. The science of the perennial truth of true spiritual understanding is yoga. Yoga isn't a bunch of postures. No, yoga is an entire way of living. And when you understand that, then you can be on the path to bhakti. And the deeper you go, the more protection you feel on that path. You realize that this isn't just a statement. This is absolute fact and 100% truth. And you don't believe it. You know it. That's what I wish for each and every person. And that's what I hope to, to help everyone develop in their life and bring a little bit more sacred vibes into each and every day, each and every action. That's our goal. All right, everybody. That's what we have for you today from the Gita. I hope that this message helped. If you wanna schedule any of my services, 
by all means, you can send me a message. I do everything virtually as well. You know that. Um, or you can go to sacredvibes.earth. You can schedule something there with me. Um, and we will have our brick and mortar operational in November here in Bay City, Michigan. So I hope to see each and every one of you there. We have great retail that'll help you live a more holistic lifestyle and bring sacred vibes into your life. And the more we can bring sacred vibrations into our field, the more sacred we feel all the time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great day on purpose and stay mindful. Namaskaram.